everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're going to be talking all about what is a two-way speaker. All right, so the question comes up a lot. What is a two-way speaker? Uh, a two-way speaker, it's a type of loudspeaker or audio speaker designed with two distinct components, each responsible for producing a specific range of frequencies. So that's typically a woofer and a tweeter. Uh, what is a woofer and a tweeter? Basically, the woofer is the low frequency driver uh, that reproduces the bass and the mid-bass frequencies, uh, which is generally larger um, and basically is designed to move back and forth to generate those bass frequencies. Tweeter is um, you know, the much smaller high frequency driver, uh, which reproduces a treble and upper mid-range frequencies, and it's normally much, much smaller and does very tiny rapid vibrations. Um, so basically you got your woofer and your tweeter, two different speakers inside of the same cabinet, whether it's a surface mount speaker or a ceiling speaker. Uh, and the basic idea is those two different components give you different frequency response. Um, so basically I have here a, a Pure Resonance Audio P110. Uh, you can see there's a horn up here. Uh, on the back of that horn is a um, high frequency driver. Um, that is your tweeter. And then we've got a woofer down here, 10 inch woofer, uh, that handles the bass response. Um, same basic concept in a Pure Resonance Audio C6. You've got a tweeter, much, much smaller, easier to reproduce those uh, high frequency drivers, and a larger woofer. Um, not every speaker is two-way, um, which we have here a Pure Resonance Audio C3, which is just a single full range driver. All the frequencies are being reproduced by that one speaker. Um, by using a woofer and tweeter um, type system, a two-way driver, uh, basically the two drivers work together to cover a broad range of frequencies, and inside there is a crossover network in the speaker, which basically routes the high frequencies to the high frequency driver and the low frequencies to the low frequency driver. Um, so your internal crossover inside of these speakers is handling which speaker gets, uh, gets which frequencies. Um, that's very helpful because that then allows each speaker to operate more efficiently. You know, if, if a uh, little bitty high frequency tweeter was trying to reproduce really low frequencies, uh, it would have a hard time with that. And also you're not gonna get as crisp a sound if a woofer is trying to reproduce um, the, uh, the uh, high frequencies. So that's kind of the basic concept behind that. Um, there also is uh, such thing as a three-way speaker. So instead of highs and lows, a three-way speaker would have highs, mids, and lows. Uh, basically by kind of delineating things further, um, each, each driver is able to uh, you know, really focus in on the frequencies that it can handle. And a mid-range driver is normally somewhere in between the size of a, a, a tweeter and a woofer. So uh, you're gonna find three-way speakers um, in kind of, um, higher fidelity applications, you know, more like, uh, you know, concerts for large groups of people, uh, things like that, where, you know, it's necessary for even more kind of accurate sound reproduction to be happening. So uh, concert grade level sound, I would say, you're gonna find more three-way speakers. Uh, and then you're also many times gonna find a four-way audio system. Um, four-way meaning not only do you have highs, mids, and lows, but you also have subwoofers, which do just lows, just the low, low, low stuff. So, um, but two-way speakers you're gonna encounter quite a bit um, because they are able to reproduce a wide range of frequencies um, and definitely can lead to high quality sound and vocal intelligibility as well as music quality. Uh, click like and drop us a comment down below. Let us know you're watching. If you have any questions we can help with. And until next time, guys.